As a user of OpenSeas, I run nonlinear static and dynamic analyses, and I need the analyses to be able to progress through sharp turns in the numerical solution. To accomplish this, I need a convergence script, or a script that can redirect the analysis if an analysis step fails. The way that I handle this in my OpenSeas analysis is with a recursive bisection algorithm, as illustrated here. The way I see it, when an analysis step fails, so this would be one analysis step, if it failed, the problem must lie somewhere within the span of the analysis step. So I split the analysis step in two, and now I have two analysis steps in the place of one. Then I call the same analysis routine that I have on both steps and rinse and repeat until convergence is achieved. So in this little diagram here, the first out of the two failed again. So then it bisects again. The first one was successful, and the second one was not successful, so then it bisects again. And in this case, all of them were successful, so then it comes back and does this one, and then the entire analysis step is complete. And this can go as far down as you want. Um, the way I do it is I have a minimum step size that I enforce, so that way if it gets down to the point where if bisecting will go smaller than the minimum step size, then I consider the structure to be collapsed at that point. So the way that I handle this, I have a little example procedure for dynamic analysis in, in Tickle. So here I'm calling it analyze step, and I mean, it's just a general format. I mean, you can make it however you want. And basically, the uh, analyze step, you give it the time step and a minimum step size, and then it tries to perform one analysis step. If that analysis step is uh, did not was not successful, then it'll enter this non-convergence routine right here. It'll check the base case, so it'll see if the if splitting it in two will make it go below epsilon. And in that case, it just returns the uh, error code, and so then you'll get a non-zero return value. Otherwise, it splits the analysis step in two and then it calls analyze step twice. So you see it's calling itself, that's the recursion. So you have a base case, uh, bisection uh, will make the time step less than epsilon, and then you, you exit, or you have the pattern, and then it bisects, so it, it increases the number of calls to the function. So to demonstrate this in action, I prepared an example, modified from an example on the OpenSeas wiki. So the example is an earthquake analysis of a reinforced concrete portal frame. This figure right here, it's from the wiki, the link's right there, link will be in the description. And I have, uh, I'm running an earthquake analysis, so this is actually the Northridge earthquake record uh, from the Peer NGA2 data, uh, NGA West 2 database. And I'm just going to run an earthquake analysis on it, and I'm going to use the convergence routine that's provided on the wiki, and then also use the recursive bisection algorithm and compare the two. All right, so here I have the model that's available on the OpenSeas wiki. That's the rcframegravity.tco. And as you can see here, it's a just a portal frame, four nodes, and fixed at the base, and it has some uh, concrete and steel materials, and then a fiber section. And a P-delta transformation to get second order effects. And then it has some gravity loads, and and then it applies the gravity load. So here we have the main earthquake analysis file. This is slightly modified from the wiki uh, just to add a couple extra things for this example. Um, first of all, so it sources the gravity file and then it runs through, adds the mass, uh, adds the, the, uh, the record, the earthquake record as a time series, applies damping, and then adds all the output recorders. And then here is the uh, the convergence routine that's provided by on the wiki. So here it's simply changing the algorithm and changing the test iterations. So it goes from 10 to 100 and then you're using a, a different one. So I'll run this really quick. This is just a scale factor one. And you'll see it says right here transient analysis completed failed. So this was unable to um, to get past that difficult part in the analysis. Here I have the modified version with the other algorithm. So everything's the same except for down here, I have the analyze step. And then I have the, the loop right here where, 
It's pretty much exactly the same as the other one, except I have this analyze step. And this will just handle non-convergence with recursion. And then if all the recursion fails and it goes all the way down to the smallest step size, then it'll exit out and it'll say that it failed. So if I run this, you'll see it completed successfully. So it's able to get over that part of the analysis that the other method was not able to. So additionally, I also ran this at scale factors five and 10, just to demonstrate um, kind of how it behaves at higher scale factors. So now let's take a look at the analysis results. All right, so here I have some graphs of the results. This is the node displacement at node three on the portal frame, and it's in the X direction. So at scale factor one, you use the ground motion response using the original script and then the recursive bisection. So you'll see that the original script failed uh, right around time eight seconds-ish, but the recursive bisection algorithm was able to get past that point and keep going. And then going even up to scale factor of five, uh, you can see again, the original script was not able to get past a certain spot in the analysis, but the recursive bisection was able to and kept going. And here's a little bit of a detail for the scale factor um, equal five. Uh, this is zoomed in to that spot. So you'll see the original one uh, just continued to the same step size and then it tried uh, a different algorithm and uh, more test iterations and it still wasn't able to get past that spot. So it just failed at that point. The recursive bisection, it first bisected the analysis step. So you'll see it's cut in two. And then the first out of the two bisected steps did not work. So it split that as well. And then both of those were successful, so it kept going. So that's kind of what happens, um, you know, how it af affects the data. Uh, here's another example. This is uh, a little bit more to the extreme. This is scale factor of 10. Um, again, the original one was not able to get past this spot in the analysis, but the recursive bisection was able to keep going. However, it did fail eventually down here. Um, so if you're if you zoom in to that spot right there, you can see that uh, it was stepping normally, which is at the default step size of 0 0.01, and that here it split and refined that spot, and then it was able to do that one fine, and then it wasn't able to do the next one, so it kept bisecting. It was able to step a little bit further here, um, but anything beyond that, it got to uh, be that the bisection went below the minimum step size. So ultimately it failed. Um, but this will show you that it can at least get pretty far and, and get to a point where you can be quite confident that you've actually encountered some numerical instability in your, in your model, um, rather than just a problematic spot in the analysis. So this can help you to narrow down and differentiate between just convergence issues and collapse. As I demonstrated, the recursive bisection algorithm that I just presented is effective in tackling non-convergence in OpenSeas. The example files I used in the video are available on my GitHub. Link will be in the description. If you have any questions about this method, just drop a comment below. I'll try to respond quickly. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.